Hi, Charlotte. Thank you so much for, for joining me and, and for sharing something of your story today. Why don't you just start by telling us who you are and what you're doing now? So I'm Charlotte and um, I am now a children's and families worker in Nailsey, which is just outside Bristol. Fantastic. And what's your connection with, with CBC, with Canterbury Baptist Church? Um, so I was in the Girls Brigade since I was seven and uh, worked my way through that. It's kind of connected to the church in that way. Um, kind of started coming to church um, when I was about 19, 20. So that was mm, six years ago. And yeah, kind of got connected through the worship team. Um, and yeah, and then kind of felt called to serve. So yeah. That's brilliant. Just, just speaking about your, your calling, um, why don't you tell us a bit more about that experience, that experience of being called to serve in mission and, and ministry? How would you describe that, that journey of being called? Yeah, so it was, um, yeah, a bit weird for me personally, because I, I never really knew what, what I wanted to do in life. And um, I, yeah, I kind of went to university, came back or well, quit and came back, but then um, got back into the church. I knew I needed Jesus and yeah, started coming back to the church and then was baptized um, when I was 20. And when I was, once I'd got baptized, I kind of started to serve more in the church and, and got connected in, in the children's ministry. And yeah, and then I just, it just, my heart was on fire to serve the Lord. And I think that's when I kind of realized that it was, it was what I wanted to do and what, what I was being called to do. And I just felt like I, I didn't want to do anything else. Um, so it was, yeah, it was kind of like there was, there was no other path. Mm. And, and doors closed in that time as well when I was trying to figure out what, what was happening. But yeah, I, yeah, I finally kind of figured it out and yeah, was, yeah, taken on a, on a, on a journey. But yeah, it was just that that heart, my heart was on fire. To was that specifically a calling into full-time Christian ministry or was that a sense of calling to serve the Lord, but in a particular workplace, you know, where, where, how did you feel God lead you through that through that journey? Yeah, well, I think to start with, I wasn't sure. I just felt like I needed to serve the church, but at the same time, I still had a, a secular job. But eventually, I I felt called into into full time ministry, and yeah, I'd I'd never look I'd never look back. I think it's it's yeah, it's not the easiest of jobs, but just the trust and the know that God's always going to be there is is amazing and um yeah that call to yeah to serve the Lord full time is yeah was the strongest yeah and how did you discern that calling you know, was it was it that you heard audible voices or was it that uh, that somebody else offered you some advice and you know, how did you how did you discern God's calling in your life yeah so I prayed um <laughs> Cause I think that's really important <laughs> and I yeah I, I spoke to others and I spoke to people who I really trusted would be able to direct me and help me and yeah I think speaking to others and um, kind of what happened in my life do like doors were closing and I was just trying to figure out where to go and what to do and yeah, I think people kind of speaking things into my life as well and um, doing various kind of courses. I think the when I did the New Wine Discipleship Year, that was really helpful to discern where I wanted, you know, where God wanted me to be. Um, at the time, I was doing kind of youth ministry and I didn't mind doing that. I love serving the youth as well, but I... I still felt called to be a, a children's and, and families minister, worker. Um, and yeah, through that time, it, it kind of came apparent that that was what God was calling me to be as well. And yeah, I think just 
seeking seeking God in prayer and through others as well was really helpful. I wouldn't say I heard an audible voice, but my heart, yeah, it, it, yeah, I just, yeah, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. And yeah. I, yeah, I just, people have just spoke things into my life that I know that I'm in the right place. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. So what advice would you give someone who's seeking to explore and discern their own calling from God? Do you have any, any words of wisdom to share? Yeah, well, I think take time. Um, take the time to, to think about it, to pray about it. Um, yeah, seek others as well, like I did. Um, and also kind of like dip your toe in a little bit. So for me, like it was starting to serve in the ministry that I wanted to serve in full time. So I started to serve with the children's ministry and the, the family outreach um, at CBC. And um, yeah, I think in that you kind of see where you can see yourself in that ministry and where you can, um, and you learn so much how to work with others, how to um, think about what you're planning and um, creating and how you're gonna serve your community around you um, with others. And I think that's really important. Um, and yeah, and I guess if you were looking to do other things, maybe um, preaching in a, in a small way or, or starting to write sermons, maybe they might not get preached, but I guess kind of just seeing how you can develop your skills and your gifts and skills into that area. And I think kind of doing things practically really helps. Um, yeah. Great. Charlotte, thank you so much for the time that you've given us. And it's been a real joy for us as a church to journey with you in your, your calling. And we're proud of you and you. excited to see what God's doing through you in ALC. So um, God bless you in all you're doing and keep in touch with us. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. God bless. Bye.